morning. This is Engineer Suraj Singh. Earthquake risk management has been very important chapter for many years. Now it is the right time that we the people of this nation and we the people of the whole world do something about creating a management to resist the earthquake applied or impacted on various structures. It's very important from safety chain viewpoint. Safety chain management is exclusively important because in addition to other aspects of safety, earthquake, earthquake application or seismic application accounts on a higher cadence. It is still unknown about the real behavior or real conduct of globe. We call that lithosphere. Earth, which constitutes whole of lithosphere, that is the globe sphere and aerospace. The important aspect involved with the earthquake risk management is solid portion of the earth that is lithosphere. We have to understand the virtual conduct of the lithosphere. Still it is unknown until the engineers and scientists fully understand its real behavior. It would be extremely difficult and rather impossible to know how to save our proposed structures. How to understand the behavior of the soil mechanics and soil material. Prediction of earthquake is a distant dream and it can be understood only when we understand the conduct of lithosphere. Centuries have gone, scientists have worked, engineers have worked, non-scientists have worked, but yet the real behavior of lithosphere is unknown. We may understand sky behavior, we may understand planet's behavior, we may go to moon or we may go to Mars. It would not serve the purpose for the planet on which we are living. Forget that we can stay on moon if we die here on Earth. It is the scientists and the engineers with the support of the general public at large in all the countries who can resolve the problem. Management of earthquake resistance has to be considered seriously by one and by all. It has been neglected. And in particular, scientists and engineers have to, have to take their share of responsibilities. Until you understand the mechanism, we cannot do anything. We are just talking every time of plate tectonics. We are talking of movements. We are talking of energies. We are talking of everything. But we are not going to set a destination where we can just control everything. We have set the zones, we have set so many things in every country, but results are negligible. Nobody knows which moment of quick is happening. We are talking of vibrations, we are talking of everything. We have imaginary understood the structure of the earth as well, but that is only 5% of what is happening within the earth. We know the portion of the crust, we know the portion of the mantle, we know the portion of the core, theoretically. But what is happening within the core? There are so many cores in the core. What is happening within the mantle? There are so many mantles within mantle. And what is happening within crust? There are so many other constituents within the crust about which we don't know. Though we are exploring, we are exploring oil, we are exploring wells, we are exploring mines, materials, some minerals, and so many things and so. Uh, but we are not really reached, we are not really reached to the center of problem. We know epicenter, we know hypocenter, we know focus, and we know this latitude and departure, but that doesn't solve the purpose. The purpose has to be solved. In-depth in studies have to be conducted, in-depth understanding has to be conducted, which we have not done. Engineers just depend upon the software which have been, which have been designed by those who don't understand all these issues. It's not a question of criticism of any profession. It's just a fact statement. The fact which we have to recognize as professional, we have to understand 
if you see the history of resistance in earthquake forces, you can see about 15% horizontal forces were taken by certain scientists and engineers in the past centuries. And those structures just worked just for the purpose. Well, to my understanding, if you take 25% horizontal force of the total mass of the structure, the structure may survive, but that is not guaranteed, just an observation based on certain, certain understandings of something, the case is still is. Let us, let us have a message for all scientists and all engineers that don't depend upon just codes and just your other details available, but depend upon your technological judgment, engineering judgment, scientific judgment, which needs comprehensive understanding of earthquake. Until we understand how this solar sphere or this lithosphere works, how to perform, we cannot understand anything. It's unfortunate that engineering degree does not constitute the slavers with applied geology or engineering geology. It has been missed in general by 95% of engineers. It is better to study that subject. If not, it details to some extent we have to understand. But to understand the suspects, its implications, only then we can understand that week. I was just talking about certain soil and part of soil mechanics to certain engineers in one seminar. And I came to know that those people were mostly interested in the controls on the field engineering. And I was not even convinced what was the reason that those guys did not want to understand the mechanics first rather than jumping to the management. Until we know the we know the symptoms of the disease, we cannot treat that. Just like a doctor, the engineers have to understand the basic route. How it can be controlled? Just constituting the codes and constituting other formulas and directions don't work. There have been evidences that where, for example, Haiti, last century did not evidence any earthquake, but it has happened there. So it can happen anywhere. Forget the zone 1, 2, 3, or 4. Everywhere there is zone 1, which is zone 4. Consider zone 4 all the places and design. We have to do that. Yes, cost increases, but cost increase is justified just to save the life. Engineers cannot allow creation of creations of graveyards for everybody. We want to work. We don't want to keep graveyards for people. We want to do temples to live in. And temples need a good design. We have to design. This is my small message to all engineers, all scientists and general public. This is Surah Singh. Thank you very much. Bye.